Hi, uh, Frank McLaughlin here from McLaughlin Lofts. Today is July 22nd, 2021. I'm going to show how I vaccinate and spray my babies at weaning. Some of these babies are a little older than that, but I fell behind a bit. Um, in my last video, I showed how I mix up the pox vaccine. This one box will last me the entire season. I'll vaccinate every youngster and then some. Today, I'll also be using the Nobulus PMV Circo Adeno. Again, great vaccine. I buy from different companies. I'll use PMV Circo. I'll use PMV Salmonella. I always mix it up. I always change. My birds are vaccinated for everything. Here we have a cup with ice. I have the pox vaccine we just mixed in the last video. I have the PMV Circo Adeno. And again, I vaccinate with cold vaccine, ice cold vaccine. That's a myth not to vaccinate with cold vaccine. It is a myth that does not cause any problems at all in the pigeons to use cold vaccine. I've vaccinated thousands and thousands of pigeons with ice cold vaccine. I also spray the pigeons with a product. It's a tractor supply, Equan fly spray. As you can see, it's a combination of pyrethrins, which is a natural insecticide made, by, made from chrysanthemums, and permethrin, which is the chemical version of the pyrethrin. This spray will keep all parasites off the birds for at least a month. And uh, you're better off if you're shipping your birds to one loft races that the parasites are on somebody else's pigeons and not on your pigeons. Here we have our first youngster I'm going to vaccinate. As you can see, health is exceptional. This is my fifth round. Color density, something I look for, really dark. Real, almost black. Very, very dark color. Super feather, soft, silky, nice youngster. My babies, uh, I haven't seen a parasite this year. I made it in January, and I sprayed the breeders with this stuff here that I'm using today at the beginning of the season. I haven't done anything since. As you can see, she has nice tight eyes, pink throat, still windpipe, not jerking forward. So this is what I do. I put the baby down into my leg. I start with the PMV any of the combinations. I pull the feather back. I use one hand to hold the bird down. I use the other hand to pull the feathers back. I insert behind the neck and I inject 0.3 of an ML. The next thing I do is the pox. The pox vaccine goes in the leg. I'll push out a microscopic drop of vaccine on the needle. That's all it takes. Again, I'll use my little finger to pull out the leg. I'll pull away the feather and I'll slide the needle through the skin. That one poke through the skin will leave a BB side, a BB size take for pox. That's all you have to do. I could probably do 300 birds from that one, that one bit of pox vaccine. After the bird's been vaccinated for pox and PMV, I spray the pigeon. I do one blast on the vents and one blast under each wing. The bird will be parasite free for at least a month and it will not hurt them one bit. Next baby. Again, I hold it down in my leg. I take the PMV. I pull the feathers back till I see skin. The bottom of my right hand is holding the bird in place. My left hand is pulling the feathers. I insert the needle three tenths. Same thing. I'll get the pox. I use my little finger to pull the leg out. I'll put a microscopic drop on the needle. Pull the skin out, insert the needle through the skin. 
Take the spray, wing, wing, fence, pigeons finished. Pigeon number three, another example. Again, hold it into my leg. Use the this part of my right hand to hold the bird down. Use this hand to pull the feathers up. Insert the needle. Needles getting stiff. They get old. The plunges get very stiff after you've used them a while. Inject the PMV. Hold the leg out. Again, we're looking for just a little, little droplet. Can you see the droplet on the needle? I just tap the plunger to get a microscopic droplet, pull the feathers out right through the skin, get the spray, wing, wing vents, and we'll do one more baby. Again, put the baby into my leg. I do this seated. Pull the feathers back, insert, three tenths. Tap the plunger, see a microscopic drop on the needle. That's all you need. You barely have to see it. Grab the skin, pull it away from the leg, push the needle through. Spray, 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 vents and under each wing. Pigeon is vaccinated. I will follow up in three weeks and give the pigeons the second vaccine. Um, probably PMV rotavirus or PMV salmonella, depending on what I have or what I feel is needed. Uh, this pigeon, again, I'll just show an example. Very nice pigeon. Rich color density through here. No fret marks, not a mark on the pigeon. You don't want to see any lines in the feathers, any stunting, anything that could show the pigeon might have had a health problem. I don't like necessarily the color density of the tail. I wish this was full and black right across, but still a really nice youngster. It'll go on my young bird team.